I'm Allie McKee with a fixed, totally unsubstantiated report. Chaos may or may not have broken out inside the all-new Miss Black Star Eyes pageant. Apparently, two masked gunmen have taken over the pageant. I, for one, can't imagine the hell on earth they're going through. Oh no, they did not. Taking their first ever mother-daughter strut together, Rabina and Annette Champagne. Tell you what, hostage situation or no hostage situation, we are having ourselves a pageant. I, I sure hope that they pick me as a hostage. Hush up, Annette. You do not. Do you? Okay. I mean, what did I tell you about taking my phone? Someday, when we are all taken hostage, probably at one of them black pageants, and you will have taken my phone, and I will try to call for help, but I will not be able to, and we will be as good as dead, Annette. Dead! Do I sound like that? No. No, I do not sound like that. Janice and Roberta, if you would stop being so pointy with those guns and just stop all of this, then we won't even say you were here, will we? And then, and then you won't be breaking any commandments, so it's a win-win situation for oh, all. Oh, Meredith. You never shut up, even in grammar school. Blah, 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 blah. Take the bag. Get out there right now and have them fill it up with wallets, valuables, whatever they got. We got to rest. All this stealing is making us tired. Oh, it's wearing us out. It is, and we gotta knock off the quit the Sara this afternoon. Quinceanera. Quince who? Quinceanera. Is that seriously today? Did you read my emails? Ever? Do you ever open How, how can I do that? How's that possible? Ladies, now that that ill-kept woman is gone and she's gonna return soon with all everyone's belongings, I would like you to score all of our contestants with a point system from one to five. It's five the highest? Yes, yeah, but seriously. None of them is going to do anything even remotely close to rewarding them with a five, so don't worry about it. Is this one of them glitz pageants? Look around. Mm. More like ghetto glitz. Not a good one. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> okay. Uh, do your best out there, Neji. Try not to get shot. Step back, abnormally grown little girl. Don't be talking to my daughter like that. Step up, Nettie. Step up. Oh, no, she didn't just step up after I told her to step back. Don't be stepping back at my daughter when I just told well, her to step up. Did. Don't be stepping back. Don't step, don't, don't step, did. don't step, don't step, don't step. I cannot believe the cops have still not come. I mean, all they have to do is look through any open window in here to see what is really going on. Oh, I'm tired of you and little prehistoric little Kim over here. Did you call my daughter? <laughs> what the hell wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Cough it up. I don't understand why you'd want to kill my brother. An eye for an eye, Meredith. Your brother is responsible for Nick's death. That is a highly debatable case, later proven untrue by a deadlock jury who declared a mistrial. I was at the reading of Nick's last video, will and testament. He stated the truth, clear as a bell. If you're watching this right now, I am dead. And without question, it is because of something that Michael Champagne must have done. Really? That was the entire will. We also read this really nice long poem. Not that one about the iced tea. Iced tea. Under a tree. Iced tea. Just for me. How dare you? He was a genius! A genius! Please welcome to the stage our only father-son strut, Nathaniel and Nay J. Mink. That's my boo! Anything I can do to keep you from hurting my brother, is there anything I can do, anything at all? at all I can do. I've been secretly sending text to people for the last 20 minutes. Oh, well done. We'll be saved in no time. Ah, yeah. Um, you 
we know anyone named Michael Champagne? Never heard of him. Hmm. Okay, are we going to get started with some lady Bible study in here or what? Mm, Jesus waits for no one. Okay, I got some eBay to do, people. Jesus. If I don't get that Sean Cassidy lunchbox, I'm going to kill somebody. You are amazing. You, you might totally win the boys category. I'm the only boy here. See? That's why you might win. Step back. Step up. Step up. Minus the armed robbery, I'd say our first black pageant is going very well so far. Yes, especially because no one's been killed yet. It does seem strange, though, how those criminals knew all our inner workings. It's almost like they had inside information. And this, this is, is Patrick. Patrick. Hello. Oh. <laughs> My... Patrick. Other oh, daddy, I have something very important to I'm tell you. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, baby. I am. Daddy is very, very busy right now. In love. Toast, toast. Listen to me. We don't have much time. You have to listen to me. I'm man. not talking to you, Nick Killer. I did not kill Nick. Why did people keep saying? What is going on with you? Your sweater's on inside out and backwards. This is how I wear it now. I've got a plan for this, all right? But we have got to put aside our murderous plots of revenge in order for it to work. Take that, I wrote it. Take it in the murderous plot of revenge. Right here, what do you say? Read that. Plan's written down on that. I mean, I wrote it myself. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage our musical surprise, Just Toast. Oh my god. Wasn't he in champagne toast? Mm -hmm. Now he's just toast. How are you doing out there, ladies? I am in love! Aw, oh, I love you too. Alright, you want a toast. So now let's spread some drinks. Go for Ethan. Ethan, it's Michael. We need you at the Miss Black Star as pageant. Michael, I got nothing to say to you. Ethan, they got guns. And they got me. And they got Rabina. And they got Meredith. And they got your daughters. I'm on my way. <laughs> Tuesday.